We've got some big, big guests tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, former member of the Mamas and Papas, and he's starring in Need Fire. Need Fire. Denny Doherty's with us. Mm. Mm. And uh, Canada's meteorite man. He brought some amazing meteors with him. Robert Zepp is with us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In my head, I was going, science crowd. <laughs> Look how excited you are. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next guest is the man behind the third millennium meteorite calendar. Boy, did we have a hard time getting one of these. <laughs> He's brought some rocks from outer space. It's a big night, isn't it? <laughs> Please welcome Robert Zepp. Hello, Robert. How are you? Pretty good, Mike. How long have you good. been uh, collecting these things? Uh, about seven years. Seven years, yeah. really? Yeah. And uh, to the uh, to the uninitiated, what's the difference between a regular uh, rock you see uh, on a beach somewhere and a meteorite? How do you well, tell the difference? Meteorites have uh, signs of coming through the atmosphere. It's called regmaglyphs. They're ab ablation. It's just like the early uh, Apollo capsules. Uh, there's right. metal blown away from them. They have to change the shield. Same things happen with the rocks. Right. Okay. So if you see one that's uh, all black. Chances are pretty good that's a meteorite. Not necessarily. No. Well, they come in black or brown. There's, right. there's very di there's differences okay, so in colors. So if you see one that's black or brown, chances are good it's a meteorite. Not necessarily. <laughs> there's a lot of other tests, Mike. Uh, okay. Iron content, chondrules, technical right. you stuff. You break it open and there's a little green man inside, chances <laughs> are that's a meteorite. Yeah, that's, that's the holy grail, that one. Yeah, okay. So uh, is there a part of the earth where these things are found more often? Or yes. Or they, they, they tend they, to land? They fall. Usually near a trailer spread. park, isn't no, it? No, no. Huh? They're, they're evenly spread, but they're easily found in certain places. Right. Um, in deserts, you know, there's nowhere for them to hide. They fall mm. in Canada. you got swamps, bush, lakes. Yeah. Now, now, if you find some of these things, what's the best way to transport them? <laughs> if it's small Apparently enough, you just carry it. Apparently in a little suitcase, huh? Right. So well, you have to get some here, Yes, yes, I do. Do you want to bring some? some of these sure. up? Yeah, let's take a look at these. Okay. This here, this one's in Odessa, Texas. An Odessa, from Odessa, Texas? From Odessa. Yeah. They name them after where they fall. Right. It shows the, that's what the outside right. of an so iron So you wouldn't want like. one that was called my house? No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's always after the that, county or whatever. <laughs> right. It, Right. And this, this, you know, there's a cut, polished face on it. It, it shows a certain pattern. It's um, yeah. metal structure, the, uh, the crystal structure of the metal yeah. inside. So it's called a meteor before well, it hits the Earth's exactly. atmosphere. Exactly, as it's And then falling. it's called a meteorite. Yes. Yeah, I know. I watch yes. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. There yeah. you go. All right. So it's called a meteor before it enters the Earth's atmosphere. Yes. Then it's a meteorite. Yes. Well, right. Now, what's it called before it breaks off from uh, whatever it is it starts with? Well, technically, they're meteoroids. While it's falling, it's a meteor. Right. When you see the, the streak of light, yeah. and then it's a meteorite, whatever's yeah. left of it. You see that movie ground. Armageddon? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Could that really... Oh, you're shaking your oh, head, no, Mr. Sure Scientist. Could, could sure that really could. happen? Um, it happens every several thousand years. Yeah. It's not something that's going to happen... Uh, you know, every 10 years or something, but sure, every... Oh, man, X I'll be amount. laughing at you if one comes crashing through that roof any um, second. A nice small one, I wouldn't all mind, right. tell me. They have some others with you. Do they all look yes. different? Yeah, the ones well, you I'll show you some. This, is a, this one's not even classified yet. That's a stony from the Sahara Desert. You can see, again, the... Uh, the thumb printing on the back side, and you, you turn thumb it. Thumb printing. They call that that's the ablation. They, they, oh, a, that's an ablation. Layman's term. They meant somebody printing. from space threw it at us. You know, no, like they were skipping no, across no. the lake. Well, I'll show you a good example. Yeah, let's take a look of some, at all of them. Some, some, this is a, a gibbon. This is a gibbon. And this is a complete gibbon. Now, this is a big. This one. This is here. like an alien loony. You know, <laughs> something they'd go to the store and. Okay, th this shows. Thumb printing, that's all ablation from the... From Man, this a, one weighs a ton. Yeah, they're, they're quite heavy. And there's yeah. a, put a little magnet on there for you, Mike, and I like to... There's a magnet. That proves that it's a meteorite, well, doesn't it? Well, there. Now, this you wouldn't think that... So my make... fridge is a meteorite. No, no, but this huh. stony one, okay, it, right. that, it, it'll stick to that. All right. Yeah. They stick right no, to but... these things, Orrin. They stick to them. 
This magnet sticks to him. Yeah. No, you get a stone, stone rock, okay? Right. Uh, if the magnet sticks to it, that's a, that's a good sign. Yeah, okay. Because most rocks that look like ordinary stone, a magnet's not going to stick to it. Yeah, all right. Okay, what else you so got? I'll show you a couple others here. This is a uh, Canyon Diablo. Canyon Diablo. Yep. No need to ask now, where that came from. Arizona. Yeah, I know. Canyon Diablo right. in Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> all right, good. What's that and one? And this is called Zag. <laughs> it fell less than two years ago in the Sahara Desert, and it is one of the only meteorites. There's only two meteorites found that contain salt crystals. And yeah, that's something you, you wouldn't expect. You got scammed on this one, my no, friend. No, it sticks. The it magnet's sticks. not sticking. Here, watch. I'll do it. It'll stick. Oh, sure, you'll do it because you'll <laughs> pretend you can't pull it off. No, no. That you're one's a rock, Rob. No, 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 All right. no. There you go. Right. See, now, my... you're organizing the great Canadian meteorite yes, hunt. Yes, I am. Yes. All right. You got a lot of people uh, signing up for this thing? Yep. Yeah, so what are you going to do? What, what, how, what does this entail? There's going to be everything from Boy Scouts to, lo to different rock clubs and stuff going right. out throughout the summer to look for meteorites. And uh, yeah. there'll be prizes awarded if somebody actually comes up with one. Right. And, uh, right. you know, that's <laughs> how it goes, so, basically. So what do they get, it's like a, a commemorative magnet? Oh, no, no, no. There'll be probably at least a $1,000 cash a prize. A $1,000 cash metal, prize. Metal yeah. detectors. Because how much are these babies worth, Robert? <laughs> yeah, good question. Like, <laughs> this one here is about five grand, actually. Five grand. So if somebody finds this $5,000 right, meteorite, you'll give them $1,000 for it. Sure, I will. Yes. <laughs> but, and if it's a better one, they'll get more money. Right. They really will. Right. I like you. You're a very clever man. Robert Zepp, ladies and gentlemen. The Whitlams are up next. Don't go away. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, join us tomorrow when our guests will include the city's James Galanders and Aussie dancers, the Tap Dogs. They're going to be with us as well. And musical guests, the Cash Brothers, ladies and gentlemen. The Cash Brothers. Yeah. Yes. Special thanks to Denny Doherty, Robert Zepp, and the Whitlands. And we're on the Comedy Network at CTV. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. Good night.